Hi, Dr. Yoshi Ram here with Oasis Family Medicine, and this is going to be on uh, CBD or marijuana or hemp. I'm uh, actually just out here on a run on the weekend, uh, so excuse the messy hair, sweaty, maybe a little out of breath, and no shirt. Um, but it occurred to me uh, on this run that I should probably send out something in on this subject because I had probably four or five people just out of the blue almost ask me about it in the last week. And so I just want to share a few, a brief video. Um, number one, marijuana is, so there's, when you're talking about marijuana or hemp, there's a CBD component as well as a THC component to it. It's getting me a little bit more in the sun. And the THC is the psychoactive component. So stereotypical 1960s, 1970s, somebody getting high on pot, that's the THC that's causing that psychoactive getting high. CBD is, uh, my gosh, so well researched at this point for all of its healing, uh, potentially healing uh, effects on the body, on the human body. And it is not psychoactive. And so, from a purely medical perspective, you really tend to want, probably 85, 90% of people are gonna really wanna look at something um, almost exclusively high in CBDs, very minimal THC. Um, now there's a couple caveats to that. Occasionally somebody might actually want THC from a health perspective, but that's, that's much more on the rare side. And so hemp can, I believe it can be sold legally by almost anybody in, all f in the whole country. Um, hemp is by definition less than 0.3% THC. So very small component of that psychoactive um, component, right? Marijuana is anything more than 0.3% THC. And that's where you would have to go to a dispensary um, somebody who could legally sell it to you. Um, mm, what next? What is it good for? It's good, it tends to, if you were my patient and you were to mention uh, something about mood, so anxiety, depression, um, memory, so good research on dem dementia, Alzheimer's, um, Pain, if I didn't say that, inflammation, pain. Uh, in autoimmune conditions, including, but not limited to, uh, things like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, um, amongst others. So autoimmune conditions, right? Those are all in the literature. You can go on PubMed, search, search it out. Uh, it, those are probably the main, oh, seizures, right? That's what really brought this into focus. So seizures also. Um, really a wonderful potential for CBD to aid in the healing process. Now, purity. Um, you, if this is something that you're going to consider, first of all, talk to, this is not uh, pure medical advice straight from me to you. This is uh, hopefully uh, education for you. So you can talk to myself or Dr. Quo or your own healthcare practitioner who has a little bit of knowledge in this subject, hopefully a lot of knowledge in this subject. Um, but purity is really, really important. Uh, marijuana pot is grown by a lot of people now because there's money to be made in it. Most, most uh, growers are gonna take shortcuts. You really want to have something organic so that when you're taking it into your body, you're not uh, taking in pesticides. And then you can go to anywhere and get a organic substance, but that refers to how it was grown. It's not referring to how it's processed. And many uh, industry leaders or people are um, processing it with things like acetone or nail polish remover, basically, or propane, right? You don't want that stuff in your body either. If you're going, if you're treating an autoimmune condition and you're putting those kind of toxins into your body, you're probably doing more harm than good. So uh, you have to get a quality product. Um, this stuff is not the cheapest supplement in the world, um, and but it's real. It's kind of you know. In our area, gasoline is for about 450 a gallon. If I see one on one corner for 450 and one on the other corner for 445, I'm probably going to go to the 445, right? I want a good deal, okay? 
at the same time, if I saw a gas station that was selling it for 99 cents or a buck 99, honestly, I would not go there because you know their gasoline is not going to give your, not going to be good clean fuel for your car, and you're probably going to lose more uh, in the long run. So the same is true with just about any supplement, but especially, especially CBD because of the legality and the, the serious legality issues over the past decades, right? And so people are cutting corners a lot in this regard. We do sell a hemp product, a CBD product uh, in our office for 10% cheaper than market value. Um, so we really pass that a lot of that value on to you. Um, so if you're our patient, uh, feel free to ask myself or Dr. Quo if that might be appropriate. Um, this is not a panacea, but it can be a very, very effective tool to use. And, oh, I think I hit on the, the main points. Hopefully you gained some knowledge about this. Uh, and Dr. Yoshiram with Oasis Family Medicine, have a beautiful day.